Good morning, class. So today we're going to learn about how to subtract difficult fractions. And I know that sounds really daunting at first, but we're going to start out slow and then we're going to get into the harder ones and I'll show you a really cool trick on how to do it really easily. So I usually like to see fractions that have the same denominators, such as 5 over 2 and 1 over 2. And we subtract these by just simply taking the numerators here and here, 5 minus 1 is 4, and keeping the denominator the same, 2. And then we just simplify, and that is our answer. And that's pretty easy to do because the denominators are the same here. Unfortunately, that is not the same in all the cases. Sometimes the denominators are different from each other, and then what are you supposed to do then? So for example, what if we had 5 over 3 minus 1 over 2? Well, here, how do we subtract 5 and 1 when the 3 and the 2 are different? If we just subtracted them, it would be 4 over 1, and that would be 4, which is greater than 2. And since we know that 5 over 3 is less than 5 over 2, how could we have a greater number here than we have in our previous one? Well, then, I guess, ah. So in order to fix this problem with trying to subtract difficult fractions with different denominators, we're going to use something called the butterfly trick. And it's going to make these problems much easier and much more fun to do. Okay, so let's solve the problem that we had before using the butterfly trick. So what we had was 5 over 3 minus 1 over 2. And I know they have different denominators, so don't freak out. Let's draw a butterfly and try to solve this together. So first, we're going to draw a wing going from the diagonals 3 and 1, and our other one, 5 and 2. Now our butterfly also needs antennas, of course. There we go. One here, and one here, and the body, which is here. So how we're going to solve it using the butterfly trick is we're going to multiply the two wings in the diagonal like this, put those products in our antennas, and then multiply the two denominators to finish the body. So let's do that. 5 times 2, which is our one wing over here, which is 10. And we're going to put that number on our antenna. Let's multiply the other wing now. 3 times 1, which is 3. And we're going to put that number over here on our other antenna. And now we have to finish the body by multiplying the two denominators, 3 times 2. 3 times 2, which is 6. And we're going to put that here. Now we can get our answer by subtracting the antennas and then leaving the body the same. So let's do that. 10 minus 3 is 7. And then our denominator, which is the multiplication of 3 times 2, is 6. And that's our answer. Not that hard, right? Great job! So you did it! We were able to solve the difficult fraction problem with different denominators by using the butterfly trick. And now the next time you see one of these problems, you know exactly what to do, and you're going to draw your butterfly, and it's going to be so easy and so much more fun than it was before. Great job today, and I'll see you next time.